Today we'll look at how we can use the lumped mass universal connection to help us import a series of lumped masses. Here we'll begin by creating our simulation files and we have a plate with some holes in it and a location for a lumped mass in one location. Here we'll go to the idealize part and we'll idealize the holes as points because we don't want to include those holes in our mesh. So first, before we remove them, we'll put some holes at their center points and then we can remove them with the idealize geometry command. Now that our geometry is ready for meshing, we'll go to the fem and we'll create a tet mesh. And you can see that these points don't line up with any of the node locations, and that's fine. For the lump mass command, we'll account for that. So we want to create a universal connection lump mass with spiders. The center point is going to be manual for one of these masses, which we're going to use as a template. And then we'll select the leg locations as those three points. Our connection target is going to be the mesh that we want to connect the lump mass to, and the max search distance is needs to be at least uh, large enough to span the distance between the center of mass and the connection targets. So here you can see that it finds the nearest node from those points. Next we need to select the type of spider, RBE2 or RBE3, and then our lump mass is now up to date. One thing we forgot to do is define the physical properties for that lump mass for our template. Here we've got a mass of 9 pounds and then mass moments of inertia and products of inertia of 876543. Then we'll go ahead and export that lump mass universal connection and we'll use the inches pound mass units and we'll select the Excel workbook format. Next we'll open up the Excel spreadsheet that we just exported and take a look at the format. So here you can see we need to have a name and the mass value is in pounds. And what we'll do because we want to import others is we'll go ahead and copy that first line and paste it as uh, our next line. Now there is a known issue in 2206 and earlier versions where the mass does not import with the correct units. We'll need to divide them by G in order to get it into the correct units when it imports. So here we, we can put in whatever we want for our mass and our inertial terms. Here I'll put in some different values from our original and then also the center of mass. Now I'm going to keep the leg locations the same because we'll need to edit those later. And here you can see the rest of the format for the file with the search distance and the property ID of the mesh that we're connecting to. Alright, so we'll save this as a new workbook. Just give it a two suffix and we'll use that to import. So since we already have a lump mass in there, let's go ahead and get rid of that first. Also, we don't need the points that we defined our original lump mass as, so we can go ahead and delete those as well. But I'm going to leave the other points because we're going to need those to define the legs of the imported mass for the second line of our spreadsheet. So here we'll select our lump mass 2 edited spreadsheet, keeping the units the same as what we had exported it as. And you can see it brings in both of the lump masses with their properties, but the legs we had selected as being in the same location. So here you can see our original 9876543 and our 
leg locations are correct there, but for our second one, here you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for our properties, and our targets for our leg locations are not correct for this one. So I'll go ahead and delete those, and then we can go ahead and select the other points for our leg locations, and that updates our mass. You can see that the RBE2s will update as soon as we hit the update button.